welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So there's a Wonder Woman movie coming out. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and this is a great opportunity for us to talk about one of the coolest Wonder Woman stories I've ever read, which coincidentally is one of the most recent Wonder Woman stories I've ever read. Mm. This is Black Label's Wonder Woman Dead Earth from Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer on Colors. This is sick. <laughs> there is a lot of dope ass shit in this book this is outside continuity entirely Outs yes yeah. oh very once you i mean like, the page one dead like, earth are on it so i don't think it's you yeah. know the future that we're going to experience no, it's, right. it's again it's one of the black label books one of the last uh and it's oversized it's gorgeous mm. if you can go get this i'm going to put a link in the description for you to grab it please do it's so awesome uh, I was turned on to Daniel Warren Johnson's work from Tiffany, uh, occasional host of the show and uh, member of this channel, and wife. Uh, <laughs> she was hyping up Extremity, which is an independent book from Daniel Warren Johnson, and introduced me to this like this double threat Daniel Warren Johnson writes and draws. You talk about <laughs> Dark Knight's met this. This is metal, <laughs> and you will see like the comparison. It literally is like. Me metal versus real metal. Where I was like, I like Metallica, let's ride the lightning! And then like someone would be like, oh, you like metal, huh? And I'm like, oh, don't hurt me. <laughs> this story opens with Wonder Woman talking to her mother and her mother, Hippolyta, explaining to her her origins. And if you're not familiar with Wonder Woman's origins, it's been explained multiple times. Uh, it's been redone a couple yeah. of times. Like it's been, she was originally made of clay, Made right? of clay, and then they were like, that's horse shit, no, she banged Zeus. Like, okay, this, Another version of the original origin. But Hippolyta's like, you were made of clay, and uh, and I, I went into like the heart of the mascara and I, I dug up like the you know the foundation of where we are or where we're from. Mm. I made to sure to put a lot of grit in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she put something in there. And so she's like, You are special and you know, man doesn't deserve you, mankind sucks. Hippolyta's got a real problem with the gods, mm -hmm. with humanity. <laughs> uh, Didn't she get Diana from the gods? Well, in some versions, yes, but in the true origin, she sculpted her out of clay herself and breathed life into her. Oh, yeah, okay, that was I was unaware. Of. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that I thought the gods then gifted life. Well, to wouldn't her. that that's, make her that's a one god? version as well? Yes. If you could create life out of, out if you're, of raw if, material, if you're older than dirt and you're from a time for gods, like my assumption is there's a ma there's a little bit of magic. You in got everything. some of that magic. To quote yeah, the crow, yeah. "Mother is the word of God on the lips of children, oh. so anyone can be God." <laughs> I made you out of clay, and I also didn't give you a heart. <laughs> no, Wonder Woman has the biggest heart. Wonder Woman is so compassionate and loving in the story, despite all of the dope-ass metal hardcore shit she does. <laughs> They're like, you know, man's world will fall, people what will the die, fuck? but you will live on. Mm -hmm. So then we cut to today, and there's a there's a there's a foraging party out in the wastelands. Mm -hmm. It's made up of a team who all have post-apocalyptic D&D names. Right. Yeah, like, we got E-Dog, we got D, Tall, Tall, and Jonesy. One of them's got a mohawk. Oh yeah, yeah, Jonesy's got the mohawk, D and Jonesy might be together, we're not really sure, but like they're children, like they're, they're kids. Yeah. Uh, but it's a, it's a harsh world. Yeah, because uh, well, no especially one lives if you're past like 35 in this world. If we're trying no. to scavenge hair cream. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta spike my... They are attacked by what they call a Hadra. Oh my god. And you're like, holy fuck. Like, they're dead. Yeah, you're dead. I mean, this thing is dope. And the whole world that you can imagine is just Is that like riddled with them. from the radiation? Right. Is that what that is? That's the implication, is that, okay. yeah, like, these are these are messed up monsters. Like, after the apocalypse, these things emerged. Yeah. And uh, these, these kids are not old enough to remember the time before. Right. So they, they don't know what they're from. Yeah, right. I know four you times. Yeah. Four times. <laughs> Uh, but, like, they don't know that, like, these could be malformed versions of people. That they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're just scary monsters. Right. Uh, E-Dog spears it, but loses his eye. Oh. And then all of them retreat into a cave. And they fall through the darkness and land in this, like, cavern. Uh, a couple of them land on top of this, like, glass dome structure and break it. And they're like, whew, 
And then the hatred jumps in too. And they're like, uh, oh shit. Uh. And Jonesy's like, what are we going to do? Because he turns to D because D's kind of like their de facto leader. Of this party, not of the, of the society. Right. They're right. children. But D and Jonesy hold each other as the Hadra comes towards them. And then Wonder Woman emerges from this pod and grabs the Hadra by the throat and punches it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see a lot of that. Nice. Okay, so like the story itself is super bare bones. You know, the world's wrecked. Only Wonder Woman can save it. All of our favorite characters, dead. Because of course they are. Because it's a Wonder Woman book. Right. We're not going to make this Wonder Woman dead Earth and then have Batman show up halfway through and save the goddamn day. <laughs> so Wonder Woman fights this Hadra and she she knocks it back and she's confused. She doesn't know where she is, but she knows who she is. And she punched it hard enough in the head to crack its exoskeleton, I guess? Yeah. yeah it's exoskeleton. Yeah. Uh, but then it comes back and it bites her on the arm and it hurts her. Mm. And uh, it's because she didn't have a bracer on. No, no, she doesn't have those. Yeah, she's wearing some kind of, some kind of like suit, some kind of like resu- some kind of like resurrection suit. Yeah. So Jonesy, it's a stasis st- suit. It's a stasis suit. So Jonesy stabs the Hadra and then gets sliced across the stomach for his troubles. So oh. he's done. But that gives Wonder Woman the advantage, and she just rips its throat out. Nice. Holy shit. She then slumps over and she muses to herself, why do I feel so weak? What, what's wrong with me? Mm. And where are my gauntlets? Like, what's happening to me? And the, the kids are like, can you help my, my friend Jonesy? And she just looks at him and she's like, like forlorn. She's like, I'm sorry. Like, she doesn't say I'm sorry, but like her face says it all. Right. And then we pull back and we realize we're in the goddamn Batcave. <laughs> That's freaking cool. That's awesome. So then they go up the stairs and they end up in Wayne Manor and... Sitting on the couch <laughs> is the skeletal remains See, of Batman. You you are sad about this? I laugh because he's still wearing the bat suit. Yeah, like, well, that's how he died. He died in the suit in his, on his couch. Yeah, on his couch. What happened? They will tell you what happened. Okay. But for now, we just see Batman. Like, it can't be a nuclear blast because he reburned. It would not be there. Yeah, absolutely. But she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> But when, but then she sees the dead Batman, and then she turns, and it's like Wayne Manor's gone. Like the whole right. top half, it's gone, and the Earth itself is in ruin. Right. Yeah, there are craters like everywhere. Giant craters. Yeah. yeah. She's like, what happened to the Earth? So they camp there for the night. Uh, D is, you know, sad for the loss of her friend, mm. uh, and Wonder Woman Diana essentially gives them the lowdown. You know, she's like. Look, I get that you are named D and you're the leader, but I am the new D and I am your leader. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I don't so think you will stop calling yourself that. D. <laughs> no, it's, it's supposed There's to be paralleling, I think. But yeah, so they're 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 camped down there, uh, and D is just kind of like in awe of Wonder Woman's strength and power, mm-hmm. and you know, she, Wonder Woman just wants context. She's like, "What happened to the Earth? Where you know, what are we doing here? How could it have gotten this bad? Where's Superman? Like, why didn't I do any? Why am I in a pod?" Right. I like that she doesn't remember. I'm yeah. hoping... Oh, she'll get her memories back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. So, it's like every excellent stasis story where, like, you're in there long enough, mm-hmm. you forget shit. Yeah. So, D is like, so who were you? Like, what did you do before all of this? And she's like, I was a protector of Earth. And D goes, well, looks like you failed. <laughs> Thanks. D is kind of harsh, but it's yeah. a harsh world. She's like, sorry, Bruce, I'm going to need this. And she takes his belt. Oh. And so she goes deeper into the manor, and she goes into, like, an armory room. Not like a, say, like, with bat suits and stuff. Like, an actual trophy room full of, like, knight's armor and, and swords and whatnot. Yeah, nice. from the Wayne legacy. Yeah, and yeah. she sees a, against some swords is the tattered remains of her old Wonder Woman costume. Oh. And adjacent to that is a kind of, like, female warrior outfit that is similar to but not exactly Wonder Woman's costume okay. and she goes close enough puts it on and <laughs> dons a whole bunch of like dope accoutrement to you know be this war torn apocalyptic version of Wonder Woman yeah right. she wearing the, the, the remains of the bat dog and you know yeah makes a cool thing out of it a cloak I mean, out of its fur we don't see where she gets the furs <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, it's Wayne Manor that's what I'm assuming there's a rug there's a bear rug somewhere yeah. in there it's been a long time though like it, the, a dog's hair wouldn't be around like it's been a long time not like 50 years but so like hundreds of years yeah, yeah. so she joins them. Oh, she also took a sword. Because, like, why not? Uh, and so she joins them on their pilgrimage back to base. And when they get there, they get to Camp New Hope. And Camp New Hope is not set in New Hope, Pennsylvania or anything. It's just, <laughs> that's the new hope for humanity. Sure. And yeah, no, this is, this is Gotham. 
Yeah, right. Well, they they were sent to the ruins of old Gotham. Yeah. And you know they Some knew that, but we didn't. From, yeah. yeah. And they didn't know that like the Batcave was there because they didn't know who Batman was. Right. But uh, yeah, it's set up like an old like you know Game of Thrones esque yeah. feudal <laughs> medieval system. castle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know Wonder Woman's like thanks a lot for letting me come with you, and then E Dog attacks her from the back. What? Wonder Woman stops E Dog from hitting her. And then D injects a serum <gasps> into Wonder Woman's neck. And Tall is like, "Why? I feel really bad about doing this." And D's like, "We went out looking for survivors to bring back hmm. for the king, like for our ruler. Oh. And if we don't bring something back, we'll be punished even more severely than last time." Hmm. Interesting. I can't uh, wait to see where this goes. Oh yeah. Okay. So they go before Thaden. They're like de facto king or whatever, and he's a uh-huh. cruel, gross. Yep. You know, douche. He's got babes. Oh, yeah, he's got babes. He's got wives. So, a little bit of Mad Max Mm -hmm. in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we're supposed to think, You had to bring me another wife. That's... Well, he's... It's more like bring me anything, but like, oh, she's pretty cute. Yeah, she'll be one of my wives. Yeah. And so, he takes her, and then Tal's like, oh, her name, and he smacks him, and he goes, "I I don't care. Right. And as he's beaten on Tall, Wonder Woman comes to and she says, I am no man's wife. And grabs him by the throat and throws him into a, into a table. Nice. Uh, but one of their larger bruisers punches her in the face and she's subdued for the moment. And mm-hmm. She's also like, you know, she got injected. Yeah, right. Yeah. She's still woozy. Uh, so they throw her into the brig. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, into jail. Uh, the dungeon, if you will. Uh, this is a very weird contrast because of all the Greco-Roman images. Oh, well, that's the flashback. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is, yeah. Where she's reminded of uh, hanging out with her mother and her mother talking about like where she comes from and who the Amazons are and how she created Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. And she says, what did they do to you? And she says, they pretended to love me and then betrayed me. She has a real sensitivity to betrayal. And Did the Themyscarans betray her? No. No, 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 no. no it's more like, like the world like of the... men betrayed yeah. her. Like, okay. It's why she sought Themyscira and why she you know, lives among the Amazons and yeah, like isolated them. Yeah, exactly. from the rest of the world. Yeah, that in fact, Themyscira didn't even exist until after the betrayal. Like, she took the Amazons to Themyscira uh, in this story. Like a retreat. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Wonder Woman's in jail. Uh, Dee visits her. She's like, hey, sorry. I betrayed you. And Wonder <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And Diana's like, it's okay. I don't blame you. And she goes, well, that's very noble. And she goes, no, it's not noble. I love you. And Dee's like, oh, okay, I'm not really into that. And she's like, no, no, no. I just met you. I, I don't, like, I don't mean it, like, in a sensual way. Like, I mean, like... I'm not in love with you. Like, I love, I love humanity. Like, ever since I first laid eyes on them, and we see, like, a kind of flashback to the image of Steve Trevor's plane landing on the mascara mm-hmm. and him emerging from the wreckage and the first image of him seeing her. And she's like, when I first saw the eyes of man, you know, they were full of wonder and confusion. It was like a child... And I saw the hope and the potential in them, so that I could never, I, I could never hold their deeds against them, mm. because I know how fragile and how how much potential they have. Mm-hmm. Um, so even when you betray me, I still love you. And it's like oh, okay, because so very much in contract with because contrast. there's a chance for redemption, right? So you know, D is like, well, that's stupid. And I don't get it, right? And, you know, well, yeah, Dee's life has been hard. It's, it would be inhuman of you to, to feel that way. And Diana's like, now you're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> so they call for Diana. They, since they know she's kind of tough, they're going to throw her in the arena to fight their monster champion. And the monster champion, of course, is Cheetah. <laughs> Barbara Minerva from Wonder Woman. She has been changed. Wow. Yeah. She is a horrible cheetah monster with a cheetah for an arm. Like a cheetah head that is alive that can bite you. Yeah. <laughs> Do, how does it make sense? That's it awesome. It does not. It is fucking dope. It's just yeah. a cool action figure. That's it. Yep. And it's just awesome. And like, it's Does been, the it's, cheetah arm have to eat? Right? Is, like, is it hungry? I don't, I don't Where's know. Where's its stomach go? Who cares? If she eats, does that satiate the, <laughs> the, 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 the cheetah? cheetah that's yeah, on her are they, arm? Are they do a they shared, share a stomach? Yeah. stomach? Uh, or they, they must, have separate? right? Or is, does it need a stomach? Is it just fueled by hate and anger? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> or magic. Right. It has to be magic. So Maybe it, some... it chews, but like it doesn't go anywhere, so then like it just throws yeah, it Yeah, it's like Cookie out. Monster. <laughs> so <laughs> they fight, and uh, you know, and it's, and it's just a dope-ass gladiatorial battle between Cheetah and Wonder Woman. Cheetah's face is Oh, yeah. No, up. she's, she's got... a giant mouth. Yeah. Half her face is a giant mouth. Does uh, does she remember Wonder Woman? Yes. Are we getting... Oh, okay. Yes. She says, like, 
oh hi <laughs> i but she isn't sadistic or want to fight her she's like i have to fight you oh or they'll hurt me more right so while they're battling uh the the guards on the wall are like man i can't believe we're missing the fight and uh d goes to visit her sister because it's got to be like hunger games and uh you know she's like hey Rhea, i gave you we we got double rations for turning in diana so we're gonna last a little longer because that's all that d wants is to protect her sister and live right because that's all you can really hope for in this world uh i like that there are rations yeah that yeah. means like there's hunting there's farming right like but, well, they survive I, yeah but thaden is like a cruel despot he probably hoards a lot of things. Yeah. And it's not sustainable. The big thing is that, like, they live in this, like, place in the middle of the wasteland. They don't have enough resources to make it. Right. They're uh, just scraping by. And, of course, they're besieged by by Hadra, which come and attack them at this time. Uh-huh. Okay, now, these are different Hadra. Yes, they're different from the one they encountered in the forest, but, okay. like, they're all different. So, Hadra is a term for the monster it's of the world? a blanket word for the monsters that, that, that roam the wastelands okay. of the former, of the dead earth. It's like you could say there is a zombie. Yes. And, like, you've got boomers and spitters exactly. and hunters and witches and, and all that all kind zombies. of stuff, but they're still zombies. Exactly, exactly. So... D and Tall join the armed forces to hold back the Hadra force while Wonder Woman battles with Barbara, mm-hmm. Cheetah, <laughs> and you know, they Wonder Woman gets an upper hand and she holds Cheetah and she's just like, Tell me what happened to you. What do they do to you? And she's like, I have to fight you or they'll hurt me. And so she just keeps fighting him. And yeah. so they just they continue to battle while there's a big fight going on. I'm really concerned that this world creates the people. Oh, the 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 Hadra? Not well, the Hadra, but also these people. Look at Cheetah. Oh yeah. Like I feel like the world does that to them. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like she, Cheetah's somehow, been transformed by by something. Like the Earth has been altered, and so it like it infects you. Well, my concern is that like they're gonna hurt me. Like that's how they hurt you is by changing you. Right. Uh, they do hurt Barbara. Like the world of men essentially hurts her. Yeah. Uh, she is like they. Using their dark science, they graft new things onto her. That is what's revealed to be, looking. like, why she's all messed up. Yeah. But, like, when you first see her, you're like, everything in this world is twisted and mutated. Like, right. who knows where she comes but from she's saying, why. like, no, no, they did this specifically to me. Exactly. Yeah. And it might not even be Thaden and his men who did this specifically, right. but they been. still hurt and violate her. Yeah. Uh, and keep her, her in fight. bondage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So while they're fighting, the Hadra forces come in, and they see, you know, the horrors that are breaching the, the inner walls of the Citadel. And then Wonder Woman like bails on the fight with Cheetah and then just dives in head first and starts just ripping apart these Hadra. Wrecking Hadra. And like, I love Daniel Warren Johnson's ability to mesh onomatopoeia with art. Mm. So you just have... Very it, immersive. It's, it is incredibly immersive. Yeah. Like, this is a book you must read. That yeah. You must be like in. Because there are sounds that don't, you know, like if, if, if you get stabbed, it'll be like... You know, like that, like, and it'll say shook, like S H U K K. Yeah. But like when she chops the heads off these Hadra, it just says chop. <laughs> these are just, just words of things that she's doing. Right. Well, and it's like the blood becomes the word. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, very, it's incorporated into the art. Exactly. Really well. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's like an accent mark or an underline. It's just punctuating the art further. It's almost like it's not even a word anymore. It's just a, it's a feeling. Yeah. And you just get that. And so Wonder Woman combined with the forces of Camp New Hope turn the tide and D is saved by Wonder Woman at the last second. She mm-hmm. was like, her arm was like being devoured. And oh God. Diana chops its head off and they're like, we made it. She turned the tide. What's your name? And D goes, that's Diana. And so everyone starts cheering for Diana. Huh. And then Thaden is running for his life because Cheetah was free right. at the moment. So, and so she's chasing after Thaden. Right. And Diana stops Cheetah from devouring Thaden. Right. Uh, that would be pretty fun to see, though. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. With her Cheetah oh, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, as you like, can see, like there's that yeah, moment where it's like out. snapping at her. And Barbara's like, you don't know. Like, you don't know what he did to me. And she goes, you're right, I don't. She just lets Cheetah beat on her as she is remembering her mother's words saying that the world of men is not worthy of her trust. So eventually Cheetah exhausts herself in Wonder Woman's arms. And the two of them hold each other as like the Citadel is repopulated by the survivors of this battle and they're all cheering for her. And so nice. she basically declares that she will do what she can to save this world of men. And so 
she asks for their permission and they acquiesce. Oh, hell yeah, they do. <laughs> and Edug is like, okay, so let's take care of the, our former master and <laughs> king. And she says, no, like, I'm going to help. I'm going to help everyone. And so she offers Barbara help. And she goes, I don't want your help. And so she runs away. And mm. so she leaves. To That's show like up later cheetah. in the book. Yeah, yeah exactly. of course. Yeah. And so she says, we can't do this. This this whole thing is set up for, like, Thaden's ego. Like, he yeah. he was the guy who was, like, a basement dweller who was like, it'd be really awesome if, like, I was in charge of, like, a Game of Thrones-esque citadel. <laughs> like, you yep. know there's penicillin, motherfucker. Like, what are you doing? Right. So... She's like, this no, doesn't work. The dark. We're gonna, I'm gonna take you all to Themyscira. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The Amazons, if there are any left, right? It's, might it, they're not gonna be receptive not of this. Not care but, for that's that. If there are any left. Yeah, yeah. So one would assume if the entire world was destroyed or changed, Themyscira would also be affected. Naturally. So we get another flashback to Wonder Woman when she was younger, battling with a warrior from Themyscira named Nubia who is essentially their, like, master-at-arms. Like, mm. she's charged with training Diana in hand-to-hand combat. She's the best warrior woman they have. Sure, sure. And she pisses off Diana, and Diana goes in for, like, a like a punch, like a devastating blow, and it caves in half of the mountain they're fighting <laughs> on. And it's then that Nubia, like, understands that Wonder Woman is stronger than Hippolyta has indicated. Right. That Wonder Woman has, like, <laughs> untold power. And she goes to Hippolyta. Hippolyta? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> um, so she goes to Hippolyta and she's like, she could kill us all. She could destroy the world. Like, she's too powerful. This is not just clay. <laughs> what did you yeah. add? And Hippolyta goes, do you remember that rager we threw a few, like, millennia ago? Where I, uh. sent, like, I sent my finest scouts to get, like, the, 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 the finest wines and booze from like the untold regions and we invited every god to our rager she's like oh yeah, how could i forget that was a crazy ass party we had an amazing time every god was knocked on their ass she was yes and when they slept i cut their palms and i collected their blood oh. and i mixed their blood with the dirt of themiscara oh my god and i made wonder woman out of the blood of all the gods <laughs> that's that's kind of messed yes! up. Yes! <laughs> like, this oh is cool! God, right? Like, yeah! <laughs> like, come on. Oh, I'm the Batman who laughs. <laughs> Get ready for more. Because that's just something dope that Hippolyta did in the past. <laughs> so, basically, she's just like, yeah, she's never going to stop. And she's never going to be stopped. That's right. Yep. I don't regret it at all. <laughs> There's no way this could backfire. <laughs> Um, I had to do it because I was betrayed. Yeah. And what happened to me will never happen to her. No one will ever be able to get one up on my daughter. Mm -hmm. Damn it, she trusted the world of men. Yeah. And Nubia's like, right on. Like, okay, I I guess I can't do anything about it. Right, well, you know, it's been done. But, like, I'm going to need some more people to train her then. (laughs) Well, Nubia comes up with a a solution. Um, So they throw Thaden in the brig. Uh Does she she train her against a kraken? No. No, unfortunately. You're going to fight a Kraken. There is a Kraken in this book. There's a Kraken. So, uh, Thaden's in jail. Uh, Wonder Woman decreed that he be put in her cell. Mm. So, yep. she goes to visit him with D, and she's like, listen, you led these people poorly and <laughs> cruelly, yeah. but you know them and you know, th- you know your people. So, will you help me? And he's like, what? You're nuts. No one's going to follow you. And no one's going to follow me now that I'm in jail. Like, you've ruined everything. And she goes, well, you know, you, <laughs> it's funny because he's like, you know, you, you don't have the will, you don't have the strength to, to, to protect these people. Mm. You know, like, the only reason they're, they survived is because I'm an asshole. Right. I had to be hard on them so exactly. that they would, yeah. And she's like, well, you led these people for as long as you could, and you lost your power in a day. So maybe it's time for a different strategy. Mm-hmm. And so she bails on him, and right before she leaves, he goes, wait... Okay, there's a large grain silo in the back. It has old technology from the previous world and gasoline that you could use to to traverse the you know the the dead earth. Mm. You know, and she goes, well, thank you. And then they bring him and everyone. They get every man, woman, child, you know, into like vessels and 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 lead them on this like pilgrimage okay. to the mascara. Uh, so, uh, yeah. 
Uh, isn't Themyscira on another continent? Uh, like, they're going to need, like, a bow. Yes, they Themyscira are going to need a bow. It's okay. its own continent. Okay. Yes. okay. Well, thankfully, Tall is a master inventor and has constructed a boat. Uh, and he what? also, yeah, he shows you like the boat. It's a little boat, but like it's like I think it's like a model for like. Oh, the boat they really need. he's like demonstrating that like I could make a boat. Yes, and and we could just we'll we'll be okay. He also took the liberty of inventorying her belt. Oh, and he's like, this is nuts. Where'd you get this thing? I've never yeah, seen this before. Yeah, he's like, an old friend gave me this belt. Look at this green ring. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no. Yeah, oh yeah, in the belt there <laughs> has to be. What other kinds of tech are back there? Cars. Yeah, okay. There's not like other Easter eggs regarding no, like not superhero stuff. We get that. Uh, like the body of cyborg. Right. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> <laughs> this is demeaning, Hong Kong. Yeah, like he gets up and like debris falls off of him. <laughs> is this isn't Transformers 4. <laughs> Kate Yeager. I was waiting I'll for you. I'll kill you. <laughs> you're, the, you're truly the best of us off. <laughs> Oh wow! It turned into winter real quick. Yeah. Uh, well, it's on. It was already winter, Listen, or every season's the same. It's goddamn dope, and the Earth is like changed. So sure, yeah. No, <laughs> now it snows. I want. Well, I can imagine Daniel Warren Johnson's approach. He's like, well, I need a totally amazing double page splash of like Wonder Woman leading the last vestige of humanity, and I want it to be snowing. So it is. Yep, so it you is. You know what? It probably just took a while to get all of that stuff together. And for them to leave. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a whole, it's been a whole season. So the plan is to take all these people out of their fortification and put them in a long caravan where most of them are walking. Yes. Across continents. Mm -hmm. To go to an island. Inhabited by yep. monsters mm -hmm. that they could barely hold off when they were secure behind walls. You don't yes, even know right. if there's that's still the an ocean. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to walk there. Right, right, right. This seems like a foolhardy plan. It, it's, I was gonna, it's the plan of an eternal optimist. I was going to question... <laughs> who, didn't, who didn't get to see these monsters and can punch them. Is it like they inventoried their supplies and she's like, you'll be dead in like a week? Yes. Who is uh, exactly right? No, yeah. she's like, you're going to die. This, this place was literally on the brink of collapse yes. when I got here. Right, and I'm not going to put him back in charge to like keep you alive for another month or two. Right, that's not going to... Who's the God of Who's strategy? Who's the God of strategy? I don't know. Jessica? <laughs> Someone will let us know in the uh, I, comments. There down. has to be one. Oh, yeah, no yeah. doubt. So, we get a flashback. Nubia has forged gauntlets from rare metals in Themyscira, mm -hmm. and they will inhibit her powers. Oh. They will... She won't be as strong. She will be defeatable if she wears them. But they have to be her choice. She has to choose submission if they go on her and work. And so Wonder Woman does. She goes, I could have killed you. And so she does choose bondage. And mm. so she wears them, which is where the, the braces come That's from. In interesting. Mm. Yeah. Nubia is also like dreadfully afraid of this, <laughs> the power of this girl. So yeah. she was probably the head of the bracers committee. <laughs> so they put the braces on. Are they made on. of themiscarium? Yeah. <laughs> With traces of Batmanium. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, so they came from metals. Right? Oh, yeah. No, they could be, from... they, they'd be nth metal. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, they're not. Uh, I believe. They could be heavy metal? I, oh. I believe that actually in Dark Knight's metal, they do talk about the metal that her bracers are from. That's anyway, true. so then we come back to the present and, like, of course the plant's coming apart. There's a big, huge, oh crazy-ass hot hydra that comes out of the ground. Yeah, we got tremors. In the middle of their camp. Yeah. And they're like, I didn't know they were this big. Like, they never ventured out that far into the dead earth. Diana rallies the army forces that they have, and she's yeah. just like, okay, let's go. And if this is your last day, I will be with you until the end. And so they charge, and they fight, and, you know, she leads archers, and she, uh, she comes up with a totally baller move. Because this thing comes out of, like, a crater in the earth. It's right. Just kind of, it's, like a, it's like a giant sarlacc, and it's just like, nah, and it's messing with them, right? Yeah. So Wonder Woman grabs the only jeep left. I love that it's, there's still, like, a 1950s army jeep yeah. that still survived. <laughs> right? Well, of course it would. It's exactly. Like, yeah. So she grabs the jeep, and she... Mounts it, rides it, drives it towards the cl the cliff's precipice at the Hadra, grabs the gas tank <laughs> and her sword. She plunges the sword into the Hadra, climbs up the Hadra, grabs the gas tank, pours it down his throat, and then lights a bat lighter from her utility belt and <laughs> drops it down its gullet and blows it open. I thought she was going to drive the jeep and blow that up she, down She throat. drives the jeep into its throat, which is a totally yeah. dope move. 
Again, double page, you get a lot. But cars damage. don't just blow up. You gotta. Yeah, you gotta do more. You gotta douse them in gasoline Cause, or cause something. Because that would be unrealistic. Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't eat the Jeep. No. Well, no, it can't. It's it's like here. Yeah. Yeah. It just hit it. So everyone just sees how awesome Wonder Woman is, and they ask her if she's okay. And she goes, "How many did we lose?" And D <laughs> well, says, gonna... "Too many." <laughs> a lot. Yeah. And she's like, "Good." We were never going to survive with that many mouths to feed. <laughs> now we can make it. Now I'm starting to understand her plan a little better. Yeah. <laughs> the flashback to Diana sleeping, wearing her braces. Hippolyta visits her. She sees that she chose to wear mm. the bracers, and she just kisses her forehead. And she's standing on the like balcony. And then she like exiles Nubia and be like, Yeah, you're fired. You no. just enslaved my daughter. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure she's not happy about it, but like they can come off. So yeah. she's on the balcony, and she sees that one of their... Grecian statues is like there's the water's up to its neck mm. and she says what what the hell is this and one of her guards is like I've guarded this place for centuries the stone is not broken the ocean is simply rising mm. so then we cut back to the present and Tall has dug into the Hadra that they killed and he's like the weird thing about this Hadra is that it has lungs a heart a liver a pancreas it could be a person that whatever burned this earth, because they always talk about like this great fire that rolled over the earth and then mm. the Hadra came. And he says, it's just, I'm, I don't know, it's weird. He yeah. doesn't come Tal, to that you have a lot of hidden talents, engineering, medicine, it's anatomy. anatomy. Well, you know, I mean, it, in, in, in an absence of like billions of people, you know, humanity will create these extraordinary people, especially if you can have a Batman or something. Well, yeah, you need them. So they arrive at a lighthouse island that's like the halfway point to Themyscira. Oh, I wonder who lived there. And we don't really get that, but like, I guess this is Arthur's place, but I don't know. Hmm. So uh, E-Dog is like, we only have provisions for a few days and then we're all going to starve to death. Yep. And she's like, that's okay. I'm going to take a boat to Themyscira, I'm going to scout ahead and make sure it's ready for you guys. She's yeah. not bailing on them. Maybe She's like, find a bigger boat right. to bring you back. Exactly. It's an whatever. island nation. We should have a lot of boats. Yeah. Make sure it's cool. Yeah. Hey, I got some friends. Hey, by the way, do you, yeah, can I have a couple of friends crashing your couch? Oh, sure. Like, how many? I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, all of humanity? Oh, shit, look. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, D and Tall insist on coming. Uh -huh. uh, they do ride uh, their way to Themyscira and they get there but when they arrive, you know, they shine a flashlight, this amazingly atmospheric image of, like, yeah. a ruined Themyscira. And Diana's like, something's wrong. So she gets there. Oh, uh, yeah. And Themyscira is destroyed. And yeah. so she begs D and Tall to stay on the boat while she goes and investigates. She goes up there and she finds Nubia. And Nubia is wearing a full coat of arms and just standing there at, like, the precipice. <laughs> like, waiting for her. Yes. Yeah. And she goes, Nubia, is that you? And she just points into the caverns from whence she came, where Havalita made her. Mm -hmm. I love the shunk sound effect, because yeah. you know it's like that sound effect of like all the armor like, like forming together. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> uh, there's like two page splashes like boom that are amazing. And I'm pointing at the shunk. But anyway. And the fact that Nubia will not speak to her. That's right. Mm. That's right. So Diana goes down into the caverns. Uh, D is all in on Wonder Woman. She has found her religion. <laughs> right. It is Diana. She's like, I can't let her go alone. So D and Tall go follow her. Yeah, uh, Diana goes into the caverns where she came from, and Tapalot is there. And she says, Diana? And she goes, my beautiful daughter. And they embrace. And she says, like, I don't, I don't know what happened. What happened to the world? And as she's holding her... She opens her eyes and looks behind Hippolyta, and Hippolyta says, Oh, Diana, I've missed you. And you see that Hippolyta has been transformed into a Hadra. And Hippolyta explains that man's world nuked Themyscira, and the Amazons survived, but the fallout mutated them, and the Hadra are all the Amazons. Oh, oh. fuck! She's like, Oh, Diana, why are you killing us? Oh my God! We have to stop. No, this is this is it, this is that, deep. Yeah, it gets it gets it gets worse. Oh God! So, and Hippolyta, like when she touches Diana, she gives her her sight, so Diana can see what happened. She gets right, the context. She right. watches her sisters grow get, and morph. And I'm change. getting like bizarre 
chills from this. I promise you, Ben will pop a boner at some point <laughs> in this episode because it is about to get even more hardcore. Oh, oh so, my God. D- so Hippolyta's grabbed Diana's face and she's just telling her everything and giving her all this information. And she says, these people, I told you not to trust them. And then D cuts off Apollo's arms to save Diana from her. She oh, going fuck. On. Right. And then Nubia comes in and she attacks them, tries to kill them. And Diana defends Tall from Nubia. And Apollo's like, you're still protecting these people. Why? And <laughs> they cut off my hand. Yeah, look and, what they did to us. So Tall grabs a grenade off of the utility, utility belt. belt yeah. And he's like, D, close your eyes. And he sets off a flashbang. Oh. which blinds Nubia and Hippolyta so they can run away. Right. They barely escape. They have to carry Diana. And as they're escaping, Nubia plunges a sword through Tall. Oh. Oh, shit. He's the most useful one. Fuck. Yeah. Tall But dies. he's also a dude. You gotta die. You're gotta not allowed to theme the scare up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't have come here. <laughs> so Nubia is towering over D and Diana. They're both screwed. D has a sword like nah. is a little just tiny armor? fucking sword. No, Nubia is not just armor. She's not like the spirit of <laughs> like Nubia. A or, armor. No, she's in there. Like she got mutated though. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So as they are about to be slaughtered by Nubia, a voice cries out from the heavens that says, "Get away from them!" And it's Barbara Cheetah atop a mutated Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, nice. So she roars and it's in. It's raining and there's lightning. Yeah. yeah. So the Fuck. Pegasus headbutts Nubia across the area, and then Barbara goes and fights Nubia, and the two of them are battling. She's on the ground. Nubia's got the got the got the sword ready to go, and so Cheetah just roars in her face and then punches <laughs> the helmet off, revealing that Nubia has been altered. Her eyes have now become these like tumorous, fleshy things that Ugh. pour out of her head. Yikes. Everybody jumps onto the Pegasus and flies away. Yeah. Uh, and like, they land. Get the hell out of here. And D is like, why did you help us? And Cheetah's like, I didn't come here to help you. I came for her. Yeah. And so let's go. And Diana's like, I'm not going anywhere. My mother was right. You people can't be trusted. You destroyed my people and my, mm. my mother and my sisters. Like, you, you killed everybody. And D's like, I didn't do anything. You said to trust you. You like, And she completely loses her faith in Diana. Yeah. And Diana just turns to Cheetah and she goes, take me away from here. And so she atops the Pegasus along with Barbara. And then they leave. And D's like, you can't leave. The people need you. We believed in you. And she says, you should never have trusted me. And I should never have trusted you. And flies off into the night. Wow. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, that is not fair it's at very all. very dark. No, no. Well, I mean, she just saw that she had she had assumed yes. that Themyscira was fine. Right. And, and that humanity killed themselves. Yeah. And yeah. now she sees that no, no. Humanity killed your people. Everyone she loved is dead. Yes. Well, not dead. They're worse than dead. They're yeah, they're, like, they're horrible, horrible monsters. monsters. <laughs> yeah, they got nuked, but they survived because they're Themyscirans. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, uh... Cheetah and Diana take a break. Uh, you know, they're sitting in, around a fire. And she goes, all right, so I don't remember anything about the life before. Can you give me some context? <laughs> yes. And Cheetah's like, and the sure. Readers. <laughs> People were polluting the planet. The oceans were rising. You know, the earth was dying. And the Amazons decided that something needed to be done about humanity and mm-hmm. what they were doing. You were on a humanitarian effort to try and broker a peace accord and try and explain to them what they needed to do. But as you probably figured out, humanity doesn't like to be told what to do. Mm. And you get this double page splash of the war between humanity and Themyscira. Wow. And like, yeah, we get some like, we get some old tanks and some sweet ass like Harrier jets and whatnot. It's just, it is a, it is a epic conflict. Uh, those are a 10 oh, warthogs. Thank you very much, <laughs> I apologize. What were the tanks, were they Abrams? Uh, probably. Looks like it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're accurately depicted. I'm less familiar with Who their Who cares? Profiles. It just they looks look awesome. Pretty good, That's yeah. exactly what it is. I also yeah. like that there's no one I'm going to pee in this one. It's just, it's just the war. Yeah. Then the humans decided to use their bombs to solve their problem with the Amazons. And they nuked the mascara. But due to the island's defenses, some of those bombs went elsewhere. They right. were deflected from the mascara. Yeah, and that caused the Great Fire. And Wonder Woman's like, ah. And what happened to you? And she said, I tried to live my life, but, like, man found me. And they did this to me. 
and they knew that I fought you, so they used me against you. Uh, right. And they're it, like, oh, you like cheetahs, it, huh? It's more like they were looking for anyone to blame. Anyone, uh, like, powered. Right, so all powered people became... Yeah. Or maybe yeah. just the ones that are associated with, with Wonder Woman. Because it's not like there's a scene of, like, them torturing Green Lantern or Hawkman. <laughs> so... Right. But oh, you used to hang out with Wonder Woman. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it was her enemy. Yeah, what? Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. I, I should be your, your hero. I've seen you in the books together. <laughs> right. Sometimes they make you a good guy. So... <laughs> They just we just see this sequence of like surgeons doing shit to Ugh. Cheetah and she says, I've seen the worst parts of humanity come to life. They tortured me and that's all I wish to say. Right. About what they did. And Diana says, I knew humanity was scared, but I forgot that how damaging their fear could be. And she remembers the image that she recalled of Steve Trevor and how scared he was, but then she remembers the rest of the image of Steve's hand over his pistol. Mm-hmm. Like of the potential of what they could do. That's a big swing. It is. But, you know. Well. Diana's like, I am torn. I am from two different worlds, and this is the only one left. I need advice. I need him. She goes, okay, we'll leave it dawn. Meanwhile, uh, Hippolyta is rallying her Amazons. Ugh who have all convened on Themyscira, and she's like, let's end this. No more randomly attacking them in small numbers. Right. For, but <laughs> we all, we, and we know where they all we are. Did well, I also yeah. just found out that my daughter's still alive. Exactly. Yeah. Meanwhile, no. humanity is like falling apart. Like, the, you know, they're yelling at E-Dog. They're like, yeah. what's going on? Where is she? We're yeah, dying. She We're out gonna... of food. We're on an island. There's no food. What the hell? And he's just trying to keep the peace. And, uh, and Thaden is like talking to D, who has returned. Oh, D went back. Yeah, D and everybody went back. Yeah. Well, just well, D. Just D. 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 D was the only one left. Yeah, yeah it's all time. Yeah, exactly. D went back, and so she's talking to Thaden, and he's like, so you came back without Diana. What's going on? She goes, eh, you know. It didn't. She betrayed us. She walked away, and he goes, well, I can't blame her. Look at what we're doing. We've been here for like two days, and they're already like freaking out. Like mm. they're already losing it, and they're turning on us. Yeah, well, Thaden, you didn't exactly give them good <laughs> skills to build up <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she goes, well, they left, and I have no idea where she went. And he says, well, there's this bat thing that they left behind that is, the, it, it's, it's the tracker mm-hmm. that she can trace Batman's <laughs> bat utility tracker. belt. We lost the signal when she went someplace north, like real north. Like all the way north. Yeah, as north as you possibly could go. <laughs> so Dee then turns, and she grabs the lasso of truth and whips it at Thaden. What? Yeah, the lasso was on Themyscira and Dee recovered it while she was there on her way to rescue Does Diana. she know what it does? When she saw it, she instantly knew what it, what it was. It's it, like it imparts knowledge. She's a woman on Themyscira and she saw the lasso of truth. Like, it, it told her what, she, what it was and what she could do with it. So she's like, tell me, what is in this for you? Why are you helping me? Why are you doing anything? It says, I want to help. At first I hated her but I recognized what she could do, and I realized how much we needed her. Mm. And so she unloosens the lasso, and she says, well, you made my life hell. And he goes, yeah, but, like, she's our only chance. And Dee's like, Dee's conflicted, you know. She's like, right. she turned our back on us. She she betrayed us. She gave us hope and then took it away from us. And I, I can't leave my sister alone again. And he says, I, I will look after her, I promise. Like, go and get her. Bring her back and mm-hmm. save us. So Yeah, don't Dee, just give up. Yeah. Like, because right. what, what else are we going to do? Exactly. Like we're screwed. We're here. We're going to die. We're, right. yeah. we're, we're exactly where we like were then. Yeah. But now we know we can be saved. Yeah. Maybe. Well, at least there's some hope. Yeah. So E-Dog and her sister Freya, like, say, we believe in you and good luck and come back. And so, meanwhile, Cheetah and Wonder Woman fly the Pegasus to the fortress. And Cheetah explains that when everything went to shit and afterwards oh, people like shit. pilgrimaged to wow. the fortress and waited for him but they but he never came right there's just skeletons piled up outside okay the images in this book are things i never thought i would see yes and they are Epic. insanely cool there's yes. like a sign that says like save us like yeah know, come like, back we're just like waiting out there yeah, for just him waiting because they had no other like hope. what else are they like, gonna, I'm gonna die anyway. North Pole. i'm just yeah. gonna die out here right yeah so she goes to the front door and uh, she finds the key and she can't lift the key because Superman made it like out of the heart of a star or whatever. So only like, well, and this is this freaking whatever. That's a real thing. Like oh, Superman yeah? actually did make his because he's like I and he, and he had like a welcome mat and he kept the key under there because uh-huh. like no one else can lift it. You can't lift it. It's like, so dense. D- Diana could lift it, uh, but she can't now. Uh-huh. And then the doors open, and a skeletal robot Superman comes out. Wow. And he says, "Hello, Diana." 
And she goes, Clark, is that He's you? He's friggin' robots. And he goes, it's a part of Clark. I'm just a helper. Would you come in, please? And so they walk in. And she goes, what happened? What do you mean one part of Clark? Where is Clark? What happened to him? And he goes, don't you remember? <laughs> you killed him. And Superman is sitting on top of a throne with his chest caved in. Oh, shit. Fuck. Why? And then the robot Superman is like, so the war was coming to an end. <laughs> and Superman was protecting humanity. Yeah. Yeah. And I was waiting for this. As he's defending humanity against the Amazons, Wonder Woman comes into contact with Superman. And he says, I, won't, I don't want to fight you, but I can't let you hurt these people. And then the nukes go off. And Superman's like, what the hell are they doing? I didn't agree to this. Yeah. We see that, like, it was a tough call, Mr. President, but you made the right one. Right. They're just like, well, I know you were trying, Superman, but, like, I love it. It wasn't going to work. They're, they're congratulating the president on making this choice. Superman blasts the wall and he goes, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> so the nukes... Uh, are, Superman, <laughs> we just congratulated the president. Yeah. Maybe uh, you'd like to congratulate the president. <laughs> yeah. Burr! Like, he doesn't do that, but... No. He should. So Wonder Woman on the Pegasus, like, comes to... Comes to Themyscira, she's like, the nukes are coming! And Hippolyta's like, you said they wouldn't use them. Right. She goes, well, I thought they wouldn't! <laughs> and so, well, you Hippolyta, did, we had peace you did talks. wage war they on them. No. Yeah, so Hippolyta's like, okay, this is it. This is the day I told you it was coming. Diana, you gotta take off the bracers and protect us. Right. Do this for your mother. And she goes, I don't think I can stop them all. She goes, maybe if you take these off. So she takes off the bracers and she goes up there. And her hair goes gold, she becomes Super Saiyan. <laughs> She goes up there to face all the nukes, and there's too many. And she goes up, and she fights them all. And she's, like, blasting through all the nukes. And one of Hippolyta's handlers is like, there are too many. And Hippolyta goes, I know, but we had to try. And then they are engulfed in nuclear fire. Wow. As Diana is atop them and saved. Right. At that moment, Superman arrives, and he says, Diana, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think they'd send them. I, I, I tried to stop them. There were, there were, there, the nukes went everywhere. They tried to target every Amazon, and one was headed for Smallville, and... I had to protect my family. Right. And Wonder Woman, like, charged with the power of every god, punches Superman. And the rage of losing her people. Yeah. yeah. So she battles Superman, and he says, stop, stop, I don't want to fight you. And she just keeps just hitting him and bashing him and hitting him into the ground. And he's like, okay. Right. And so he fights her, and they battle across the earth, and their fight is the great fire that destroys the earth. Whoa. What? You see that these like explosions that from space look like nuclear missiles, but they're actually Superman and Wonder Woman just fighting and just and devastating the world. Oh, fuck! Oh, so Wonder Woman God. directs them into the fortress where she smashes open a vial of kryptonite, grabs the, the, the crystal, smashes it, digs it into her fists, and then just starts punching Superman in the chest as hard as she can until eventually she breaks through. And he dies. Like she, They fight up the steps to yeah. this like chair, and he, he dies in the chair. And it's there that she's like, she's overwhelmed by what she's done, <laughs> and it's actually from now. Yeah. Like we, she's where she was when she killed him. Right. And she throws up, and then she's just like, oh my god. And she passes she out. She threw up then, she throws up yeah. now. <laughs> she passes out, and she wakes up, and she's in a hospital room within the fortress. Mm -hmm. And the robot... Superbad is like, your energy readout is much lower than it was recorded centuries ago. Like, I don't know what's going on, but you know, she says, I'm so sorry, Clark. And, he, and he, he has a great line where he says, Clark only gave me part of himself to run this fortress after he passed. Your apology, which Clark may have appreciated, means nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. Yeah. It falls on deaf ears. And yeah. I don't know what that means, though. <laughs> and Cheetah goes, if Clark died, who turned you on? And he goes... It was activated by a friend of yours, and we see Batman oh. turned on the robot. So D makes it to the fortress, and she faces Wonder Woman. And Batman's not alive, though, right? He just turned the robot on. No, yeah. we saw a skeleton. We saw a skeleton. skeleton. Yeah. Was... Okay. So I want to make sure that was not like a weird red herring. Yeah. No. 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 It's not like Batman's like I'm here and I'm a <laughs> robot too. And like Alfred was just like. I have to put up the mantle of Batman. He puts me. on the suit and just dies in the suit. That way when she wakes up, she'll think he's dead. But really, Batman's a Hadra Batman. And he's, he's flying around. That'd be dope. But no. It's I'm man Batman. <laughs> so uh, Wonder Woman needs to talk to Dee. And so she asks Robot Superman and Cheetah to leave. <laughs> she gives a minute. Robot Superman and uh, Cheetah Mutant Monster. Mm -hmm. So 
D asks if anybody can hear them. She says no. So D whips Wonder Woman with the lasso. Mm. Holy shit. And she says, who are you really? And explain yourself. And she gives her her origin. And she goes, why'd you leave? And she goes, I tried my best. And she goes, why did you bail? And she goes, I was angry and scared and I felt like I couldn't trust humanity anymore. And so she said, well, so that was all horse shit what you said about loving us and everything. She goes, no, I meant every word. I do believe that humanity can come back from this. I do believe in the good of humanity. And I do love you. And she tells her everything. Mm. She goes, what am I supposed to do with you? you? You killed the world. And she goes, is there any way we can ever trust each other? And Dee says, I don't know. And leaves. And when she leaves the room, Robot Superman is like, your name is Dee. Is that correct? <laughs> I, we have to talk. This box is going to show up in issue four. <laughs> and she's like, cool. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the box. It's a box that could change everything. Right. So then... Uh, uh, everyone, why didn't you uh, show up and produce it at any prior point? Th there's a plot. That reason. was not in my yeah, programming. Okay. So well, there, I need Wonder Woman. So the, the team is together. Cheetah, D, Robot Superman, Diana, and, you know. We're not going to call him, like, one of the one of the Supermen. Right, yeah. Cyborg oh, Superman. Cyborg Superman, Because Superman, yeah. he's not a cyborg. <laughs> this is a Terminator Superman. <laughs> That's uh, even cooler. Yeah, so... Uh, D comes bearing news that the Hadras are coming mm. from the island. Like, we have to, we gotta, I gotta go. And Diana's like, I have to go make this right somehow. And Cheetah says, there's, there's no way. We don't have enough things to fight them off with. Yeah. And so Terminator Superman is like, well, we've, we've collected a few things along the way. And so they go into the armory. <laughs> and we see this like, and in the armory, you know, in, it's all like most devastating weapons that right. Superman's encountered. But like, I love it. It ought to be like it looks, a giant hall that has like things in cases. Sometimes it is. And it's yeah, a I've closet. So I love this. It's like a tool shed. Yeah. yeah. Like because Superman would never use it. Like I didn't have any use for it. No. I'm not going to glamorize it. No, exactly. I'm not going to glamorize doomsday weapons and guns and stuff. It's just a place to keep them out of, the, out of people's hands. Yeah. So, I do have a, a wall with guns on it though. He does. But like it's more like a cork board. Like it's it's like in, yeah. a, in a hardware store. Or yeah. In your garage. Yeah. I love it because Barbara gets like a gun, you know, like this sweet plasma. It's just <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like she doesn't say that. She says this should help. Right. It's that scene. Yeah. And that's Wonder awesome. Woman says this isn't going to be enough. Right. And this is the most metal moment in the book. So Superman is laid out on a slab, and she just she touches Superman's chest. Says I'm so sorry, and she grabs his skull and she rips out his spinal column and she threads his spine with the lasso of truth. So now she can wield Superman's spinal what? column and skull like a goddamn mace. Because his bones are so dense. So goddamn strong. <laughs> oh my god. And they go, what the hell is that? What are you doing? And she says, just his bones and a beautiful memory. Let's go. Oh my You're god. Like, holy goddamn <laughs> crap. Okay. The Superman spinal skull flail. <laughs> yes. Is the coolest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> right? Like, who thinks of that? I Why would you do that? I can't believe they went there. Right? And like, that's amazing. Yeah. That scene of her just ripping it out of him. <laughs> like, <laughs> No. Yeah, you can hear like the xylophone. Yeah. Doing <laughs> sound <laughs> like, oh. Jesus H. Christ, what are you doing, man? So. Holy crap. You get a flashback. Wonder Woman has been devastated by the great fire by her fight with Superman. Right. Yeah. Batman goes to the fortress and he puts her on life support. And the, the robot Superman is like, there's lots of tools we could use for you. And he goes, no, the radiation's ruined me. Mm. Like, I have to go home. I'm going to be dead in a few days. Unlike a god, I won't recover. Uh, so then he, he, he says, I'm leaving this with you. And it's basically her, the totality of her powers. Like, the, 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 the ability to unlock Wonder Woman's true strength. Ah, uh, somehow is, extracted it. Batman has somehow extracted it and siphoned it into a syringe that is kept in a box that he keeps to, with, with Superman's robot consciousness. And he says, someone worthy will come that is human, and they will decide whether Diana deserves this or not. So when they come, you give this to them and uh. give them the choice. I'm taking her back to my place where she can heal. And so he brings it away, Manor. He takes her to the you know, the catacombs of the Batcave, and he puts her in the healing chamber that they discover in the first issue. Right. He says, I wish I could kill you for what you've done, but I have to do the opposite because you've broken the world and you're the only one who can fix it. Mm. So then Batman just walks out into the irradiated, destroyed like ruins of his living room, pours himself a snifter of alcohol, has a drink, and then laughs 
and then drinks the rest of it. Like, Batman never drinks. Yeah. Right. So he's like, hey. Yeah, he always faked it. Yeah. yeah. So now he's finally indulging. And then he just gets drunk and dies. I guess, presumably. Right. Because right. that's right. where we find him. In yeah, he's still on the couch. He just doesn't get up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that one drink really knocked him on his ass. <laughs> yeah. Batman's a yeah. fucking Woo! lightweight. Well, of course he would. <laughs> E-Dog and Thaden are... Like looking at their amassed troops, and they're like, "This isn't gonna be enough." No. And so Thaden's like, "Okay, well, I have a truck that we took that I said had supplies. It has supplies. It's totally dope. Weapons and gun and guns and stuff." <laughs> well, you've been holding out on us. Yeah. So while they're like arming up, uh, E Dog says, "Do you think Diane will come back?" And he goes, "You know what? I think I, I think she will, and I intend to be alive when she does. I want to see that." <laughs> Like, I have hope. I want to see that shit. Yeah. I want to see what more dope-ass shit is in this book. <laughs> so, D and Cheetah get on, like, an awesome hovercraft that will take them there. <laughs> Wonder Woman mounts Pegasus, and she's like, I gotta stop my mother. You guys have to go and help protect the island. Mm. Or the, the peninsula. And so, you know, and D... D still has the box. Still has the box. She's still oh. thinking about it. So then, like, you know, the Hadra come... And the archers, you know, engage, and it's just a, it's just an all-out war, led by Hippolyta, right? Who is like a goddamn <laughs> leviathan. Yeah, she's enormous. I thought she was riding it. No, she is it. That's terrifying. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and it's just an awesome fight. Uh, of course, Nubia is riding a Nazgul of some kind. <laughs> That's so she's she's friggin' she's the air support right, for the Amazonians right. or the Hadra. And picking people up, dropping them, chopping yeah. off heads. And as she's doing that, Wonder Woman engages on Pegasus, and she whips Clark's <laughs> skeletal structure into her face, knocks her off her horse, and she says, forgive me. And she flies over them on the Pegasus, and Thaden's like, son of a gun. <laughs> so she lands, and like you know, she helps the, the forces like fight them. Meanwhile, Hey, Von Diana, welcome. Bo oh, my God. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ, what, what are you holding? That? D and Cheetah are on like this this hovercraft with like a rear mounted Gatling gun. Like pour it on. They're like <laughs> shooting the you know the high, the haters that are coming down. Awesome. Thaden takes out a sweet ass like machine gun, tries to take down Nubia, and then gets sorted. Uh. Robot Superman fights uh, Nubia. And he's like, I don't want to fight you. Maybe we can come up with a way to to fix you. <laughs> and uh, yep. and he's like, Come on, like maybe we can fix you. And then he turns around and. Hippolyta Hadra like eats him. Oh. Trumpf. Damn. So as Hippolyta is commanding her army, you know, Wonder Woman sees that and she dives Pegasus down to fight her. And we see like this use of the word dive. Like <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Who thinks to do that? Oh, cool. <laughs> so she's going down, but then she's engaged by Nubia. Nubia catches the the the, the spine oh, and, then, no. and then swings it back in Diana's face. Uh. And then the two of them fall to earth together. And Nubia collects Diana and then brings her before Hippolyta. And the you know the team is like we're fucked. And D is just standing there like, oh crap, what am I gonna do? So D says, E Dog, can you clear me a path? And he's like, well, yeah, why not? Either way, we're about to die. And she goes, just do it. It's the last bastion of humanity being like, for Diana! And they re and they, they, they plow in. Yeah. We get the context for what, you know, the robot told right. them. Right, we see the flashback mm -hmm. to the robot explaining the box. Yeah, so they clear a path so that D can go and save Diana. She gets gouged by one of the, like, soldiers, the foot soldier, Hadra. Mm -hmm. uh, but in her, like, moments, you know, she pulls the syringe out of the box and stabs it into Diana's body and then she is imbued with her power and then we get this like really like uncomfortable sequence where she says you're welcome and then Diana says thank you she goes don't thank me like I had a choice oh ouch. okay cool <laughs> so then Diana picks up Clark's skeletal structure and she goes mother you gotta stop this call off my sisters and she goes you've already hurt plenty of us and she goes you've broken my heart don't break it any further and she floats up to meet her yeah, she's flying now. Yeah. So then she comes in and she just like... I know it's a flail. Can we call it apart. Super Mace? It's yeah, like she, Superman. Yeah, oh, Super but Mace. It's not. Yeah. So she just wields Super Mace and Super Mace just <laughs> plowing through these these Hadras. She's tearing, she's splitting them in twain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she just like, oh my God. She's Those are the barbs on the spine. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So then she's, you know, she's slaughtered like practically all of them and Nubia comes with her sword. She just caves in Nubia's head with it. Uh, <laughs> and then she turns to Hippolyta 
and she bashes in the head or mouth of the hydra that she is and it's attached to. Yeah. And she says, is this the moment where you're going to strike down your mother? And she says, no. There is good in them if you just... And she goes, oh, please, get away from me. Look at what they've done to me. Everything's gone. And then she recedes into the ocean. Oh. oh. And she says, you'll That's always... That's heart-wrenching. Yeah. yeah. Diana says, you'll always have me. And she just buries her face in her hands, surrounded by the dead bodies of her, like, fallen sisters and humans. That's yeah. also dark because, like, you'll always have me and only me. Yeah. Right. Like, all the other Themyscarans are dead. Yeah. Yeah, we killed them all. So, Wonder Woman starts... Digging up graves for everybody. When the humanity was attacking the Hadra yeah. early, mm-hmm. did they eat the Hadra? Right? I mean, uh, we do don't they see eat? that. I so... assumed it was a protein source. <laughs> yeah, because... Probably? But they don't eat them here because... They know. Yeah, now they know. No, it's, <laughs> it's bad taste in front of Diana. Be like, yeah. or should we not? Oh. I'm saying okay, I'm, all right I'm saying is there's no food. Right. <laughs> Please. There's no other animals or anything. Yeah. So Diana so. starts digging graves for all the fallen. Yeah. And she's alone. And then she hears the tink of a shovel digging graves. And they all start to bury everyone, mm. human and Hadra alike. Yeah. Proving that, yeah, people are not quite so horrible. Yeah. So later on, Diana and Sheeta go into the bowels of Themyscira. They check. Hippolyta's not there. And she says, one day... I will find her, and I'll figure out a way to heal her. Uh, D awakens, and she's healed, or at least fixed. Yeah. Well, she's and, alive. Yeah, she's alive. And, uh, you know, E-Dog and her sister are sitting there by her side, and she says, where are we? And they're like, we're at the mascara. Diana kept her promise. Yeah, she brought us here. We've been here for like a week. You've been in and out of consciousness, and Diana's been here every every hour. And she's sitting there, and she's like, hey. And they're like, we'll let you guys work. <laughs> well, you got some good stuff to kind of work yeah. out. So they walk off, and then she says, I'm sorry I couldn't save Tall. I'm sorry for everything. And Dee just looks at her, and she goes, what about your, what's that on your arm? And she says, it's one of the gauntlets I found. I couldn't mm. find the other gauntlet, but I promise you one day I will find the other gauntlet. I'm going to put it on. And she says, does that inhibit your powers in any way if it's not both of them? Mm. She goes, no. <laughs> it's 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 you know metaphor. It's symbolic, <laughs> right? But uh, but I promise you one day I will. And she goes, I want to believe in you. Like, can you help my unbelief? And she goes, I wish I could, but faith is about choice. I can't promise I won't let you down. I don't know. I'm fallible, but like I will do everything I can. And I promise I'll try. Will you join me in healing this dead earth? And that's how it ends with her extending her hand in friendship, asking for her help to revive the earth. And, and move forward. I want to believe you, but can you please put down Super Mace? Right, no. <laughs> like, it's still gross. <laughs> I just, I just, I can't. It's a part of me now. Yeah, I'm honoring his, his life as best oh, I know how. I assume she buries it. <laughs> Look, he comes with me everywhere he goes. Isn't that right, Clark? <laughs> yeah, that's right! <laughs> she just lost yeah. it. It's very disrespectful. <laughs> she just lost it. <laughs> yeah, so Wonder Woman Dead Earth is just this epic tale of awesome action and 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 within there there's a story of redemption and Mm -hmm. uh, and forgiveness and and a warning you against loss yeah but but not letting that loss or warning you against letting loss and betrayal and hate infect you right because like maybe it's the hate that made them into hadra like allowed Mm -hmm. them to live long enough to become monsters i don't know they they refuse to die to let it go metaphorically that's what it is but also yeah like radiation really messed up. well yeah the radiation triggered it but you know they're magical so like their emotions and stuff may be altered yeah like why why would why would nuclear fallout plus beautiful enduring endless amazons become horrible grotesque monsters that are bent only on eating humanity Mm -hmm. and that are all very visually different. Yeah, That's true. Yeah. Like, well, because like every seems... because they're people, you know, like every person is different. So it's like they should be distinct. It's just cool that like they except they... a lot of them aren't distinct and look identical. Well, they look <laughs> in similar. that battle where all of them are attacking the. They're the motherfuckers the writing and drawing this thing. I mean, you know, it, it, come on, it's oversized. It's a lot of stuff. They're bearing the lead at that point. Yeah. Well, that's true. It's like yeah. we want you to see, like we we want you to 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 not figure it out right away. <laughs> right. And I did not. Well, no, like, <laughs> no, you did damn. not. Damn. Yeah, but no, this is yeah. Wonder Woman, Dead Earth, it, and this is what Black Label was supposed to be. Yeah, it, right. It's like something else. It's something crazy. It's something you could never get in continuity. Super dark. And plays with the format. This is the oversized format. Yep. It really lends itself to that. I want to take a minute to also Daniel Warren Johnson. 
you are a wizard. And mm. every time I see more of it, I'm like, ah! And it's all thanks to Tiffany. Tiffany on this channel and, you know, in my life, turned me on at Daniel Warren Johnson was like, this guy, gotta see this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, she should be the one doing this book. Uh, because of a, what a fan she is and how much For she loves Tiffany! This. For Tiffany! Did, yeah. he, uh, did he do the colors as well? No, those okay. colors were done by Mike Spicer. The colors are also fantastic. Yes, Mike look at, Spicer look at is this. the... Yeah, I know. Okay, so Daniel Warren Johnson wrote it and did the art. Yes. Spicer did the colors. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, They're a great team. Yes, they are. Uh, I want more. I don't want like a Dead Earth universe where it's like, where, you know, what's Green Lantern doing in this world? But I would like to see Daniel Warren Johnson do this with everybody. Mm -hmm. Not like the same premise, but just like, just take a character and go nuts with it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, do your own thing. But I also want to take a, a quick shout out to Andy Corey and Mark Doyle, both of whom were editors and spearheaded this for Black Label, neither of whom work for DC anymore. They were the casualties in the DC bloodbath and getting fired and the dissolving of Black Label as we know it and as it should have been. Uh, this is a, 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 it sucks. There's room for this. There's room for this and, ev and everything else. Like there is room for Batman Damned and for like an all ages Batman comic and for like a young adult teenage Batman book or young adult novel or yeah. podcast or cartoon show. It's almost like comic books aren't like one genre. Yeah, it's almost like <laughs> publishing. Just like books aren't one genre. Yeah. I don't understand. How could that be? Yeah, can you yeah. imagine if like the book publisher of the Twilight series is like, did you realize that 12 year olds are reading our porn books about <laughs> vampires? We need to really dial this back. We gotta turn that <laughs> that knob down. Never mind. No, we're never doing that again. No, no. Like, and so it should be with comics. Like, just because you make a backpack out of Wonder Woman doesn't mean that Wonder Woman can't rip Superman's spinal column out of his body and use it as a cudgel to cave in the heads of her malformed sisters. Yeah. There's room for both. It's and, a different Wonder Woman. And, and it's it's, you know that it's not for children, based on. The discretion of the sellers and the and, and the execution by the publisher. Yep. Look at the font on Dead Earth. Please. <laughs> just look at the Obviously, imagery. Obviously, it's going to be some dark, messed up stuff. Or look they at wouldn't the have name, made it look like Black that. Black Label. Does that tell you it's for kids in all ages? I mean, just from the implication alone. Yep. But even then, your retailer go, don't give that to your child. Right. Or like, what, what, uh, you know, what, what Harry Potter novel are they on yet? Like, there, there is discretion and there's room. The people, the, 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 the legion of the children who are big fans of Wonder Woman because of the movie and who are going to go see Wonder Woman 84 mm. are not suddenly going to pick up Dead Earth thinking this is for them. And it's not going to detract from the Wonder Woman stories they can get that are for them. There's room for all of it. This is the limitless potential you can achieve. 